All right. Hello. So the subject uh, of chapter seven then is a combination of some of the some of the concepts we put together through the last couple of chapters where we're talking about the ocean and the effects uh, that the atmosphere <clears throat> and the moving circulation cells on Earth and the Coriolis effect and the spinning and all that. So we're going to put that all together kind of in chapter seven and talk about this big topic of ocean circulation. I say big because, of course, what we're talking about is basically these massive rivers that are found in the ocean, these rivers of moving water. And this is not something that's just new to us, right? This map, I believe, I believe was put together by Ben Franklin, or I know he at least described it. <clears throat> Maybe it's that guy in the lower right, George something or other. Anyway, uh, it, what this is, this is a map done back around Franklin's time, though, uh, that basically is mapping this river that's moving through the Atlantic Ocean that you guys probably know more, uh, uh, you know, more familiar as the Gulf Stream. And you notice that it is, as I said, like a big river moving throughout the ocean. Of course, this was important back to them folks uh, back at that time because the major way, if you look at the little map in the upper left, the major way you got back and forth to Europe was basically following, you know, these sailing ships following this uh, this current. Uh, that's the way the waves, uh, or, or that's the way the river of water moved. That what that's because uh, of, of the you know being pushed by the by the uh, air as well as the spinning of the earth. You remember the Coriolis effect is going to cause things in the northern hemisphere where we're talking about America and, and England and all that to spin.